Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to try and give a somewhat full guide on how to get full netherite armor. Um, with the only prereqs being that you have an ample supply of diamonds, an enchantment table, and access to the nether. And um, and so then I'll walk you through the, some techniques of that I've found that uh, are good ways to get uh, netherite debris, or ancient debris rather, which is this. It looks like this. And uh, then I will show you how to convert it to netherite armor. So um, there's three techniques I want to go over. There's uh, straight up strip mining um, using TNT. So you'll need some TNT if you want to try that along with uh, uh, a flint and steel. And then on top of that, we can try beds since uh, beds explode in the nether. So those are the three techniques. So the first one is pretty straightforward, and I I found this netherite or this ancient debris by basically strip mining. So uh, I didn't even st strip mine that much. Like this is the start, and I already found this. So you'll need in my in the inventory I have uh, some gold so that I don't get attacked by piglins, and then I just have some netherite. So you'll need at least gold and probably some decent armor. You could use probably just iron, honestly. And a diamond pickaxe so that when you break it, well, you get the piece. So we'll go ahead and break this one, but I pretty much got it by strip mining. And they usually come in like one to three pieces per vein. So I guess here's another one. Um, the only thing I would watch out for is that there's not lava underneath. But it looks like that was it for that vein, but I'll just make sure. So we can continue on. Uh, netherite is one, um, is kind of a step up from diamond, so it's, uh, definitely an upgrade. So... Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention too is that you'll the best Y coordinate in the Nether you'll want to get to is probably around 15. Um, that's the coordinate I use and the coordinate I found on some other YouTube videos, and it seems to work fine. So this is the first technique. We'll just be strip mining. Um, it looks like I came across another strip mine that I had been doing on a different day. Um, and so yeah, we got another one here. So be careful of lava. And I think lava flows faster in the nether, so you definitely want to be on the lookout. And I think for full armor, you probably want... I would say 24 to 26 pieces of ancient debris, which is what this is, will be enough. Um, but... That's pretty much the strip mining aspect. So let me show you the bed aspect now, which is a common technique I see. Uh, so basically you just want to set it down and then you want to be careful. And this is the probably the con to doing the bed technique is that you will probably take some damage because you're going to have to sleep in it. But then it explodes. And so you can kind of get a bigger view of what's going on. Take out all the fire, and I don't see any ancient debris anywhere. So we'll continue on. Um, we'll just go here. And then here's the next thing I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, and I actually have not personally tried the TNT yet. This is kinda loud. I have not tried the TNT, but I'm sure it will do a lot of work. And actually, what is that? Oh, that's nothing. But strip mining is ba is 
Like, you can't go wrong with strip mining if you just want to keep it simple. So let's start here. Let's just... I don't know if there's a great technique for doing the TNT, but I have a lot, so we can just do all this. And so then we'll use the flint and steel and set that off and just run away. And oh, hey, look at that. We got some, uh, I see some already. It's also just kind of cool to see. And this so far has been probably the best technique because as you can see there's two up there um i really like this technique the most uh just based off what i'm seeing i feel like you can use a lot more of it um it looks like there's some over there it looks like there's tnt there but did i fucking oh i never mind we're fine we'll grab that we'll grab that here in a second um like I said I would say I would say 24 or so ancient debris will at least be a good start it won't get you like it'll get you full armor and then like a pickaxe and a sword so it's definitely a good start um I highly recommend the other perk to netherite that I've heard is that it um, survives in lava, so if you die in lava, you can actually pick up your stuff, as well as, um, I'll just mine around here just to make sure. Uh, looks like everything's good. Um, and you also survive longer in lava, so there's just a lot of good perks to, uh, I have to mess this guy up. And the netherite survives the blast radius, so that's why it's pretty much just left there. Uh, untouched after you set everything off. Oh. Oh, it falls. I forgot about that. Okay, well, no matter, we will do that. Cool. So let's just make sure we didn't miss any. I do not see any. Let's go see if we found some new ores uncovered but that seemed like a really good way it uh we found four different ores and it really opened up a lot of space and it looks like we're good there so those are the three methods i would suggest the tnt seems to be the best as you can see the beds you take damage and um you can also just use a lot more uh, TNT, so it just it's a lot faster in my opinion. So with that being said, let's go back. And so the second part of this video will be us uh, trying to convert it to netherite armor. And I'll show you some tricks for that that I would recommend. It looks like there's another piece here, so we'll take that. Um, when I first tried to get netherite, or ancient debris rather, which is what this is, I was under the impression it was much more rare than it is, but it seems like, at least on this world, there's just an abundance. So let's find my way out of here, which I think was this way. So these were all done from beds, by the way. This will be kind of unedited, so if you uh, want to skip this part, this will be me just getting back to where I came from.
But yeah, that's kind of the technique. You go to 15. You can just strip mine if you want to keep it simple. Um, you can use beds because they're easier to get. That would be the perk to doing the bed. But if you have TNT, that seems to be a lot faster for getting netherite. I believe we need to go up here. I actually have the coordinates written down. Sorry, one second. Hopefully there's no lava above us. The nether always gives me anxiety though. Oh, I was closer to the portal than I had realized. But that's good. That's good for the video. So once you've got, I would say, 24 um, netherite, you can come back. I think if you get like 36, that should be enough for just about everything you have. Like an axe, um, a shovel, things like that. So we're going to go in here. And so here's the next thing you'll need to do is, like I said, you'll need diamonds in an enchantment table. Once you have that, you'll also need a smithing table, and I'll show you what, a, what you need for a smithing table. It's pretty basic, so you need four planks and two iron ingots, just as such. And then we'll grab some diamonds here. And... Um, Put some of these away. Make some room. So the next, so the next step, once you have all of those things and you have the ancient debris, is you're gonna want to make uh, netherite ingots, which involve gold gold ingots, and then the um. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to do. We need to smelt the ancient debris. So. Go ahead and put it in your blast furnace. And I can leave timestamps if you want to. So anyway, you'll get netherite scrap. And I think we need, per armor, you need one ingot. And I think four scrap gives you one ingot. So let me check actually. Yep, four scrap and fold four gold ingots will give you one netherite scrap or netherite ingot. So then you want to come back over here. And let's do. So I haven't done a diamond shovel yet. So let's go ahead and do our diamond shovel, but you can use whatever you want. And then. You want to come over to the enchantment table and then the next step is you're going to want to do a diamond shovel so we'll see what we get on breaking three if you're not happy with um the enchantments you get i always do a book just to change it up so we'll see if that does anything different it keeps giving me on breaking three which i don't want Ah, screw it. We'll just take it. Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. Why not? But you can just be picky until you get your... The enchantment you want. And then I have some books here from the enchantment table. Okay, so you've got your diamond shovel. So you want to go to your smithing table, put the diamond shovel in, and then you'll need one netherite ingot. And then it will change to a netherite shovel... 
along with the enchantments and i think that's the important part is you want whatever enchantments you have um hopefully you're happy with and so then yeah you got another right shovel so that's kind of the the full guide uh netherite's a little bit better than diamonds than diamond shovel um or diamond armor in general um so you want to go down you want to get ancient debris at level 15 in the nether then you want to come back and chant the diamond uh armor that you have um and then you also want to make the ingot then put the ingot in put the diamond armor that you want to convert to netherite in and it should pop out here just like we did with the shovel so that is kind of the f gist of the guide to netherite um the three techniques uh choose as you wish and uh that's pretty much it so if you if this helped uh please like and subscribe and look out for future content thank you